Hey, welcome to Physics C at Lyons Township High School. Uh, first example, this is from chapter 10 of our current textbook. And uh, we're going to find the moment of inertia of a, uh, a compound object. And this example is really short and quick, uh, pretty easy. So we're going to have a, a merry-go-round. And on, on top of the merry-go-round, we're going to put a manhole cover, such that the edge of the manhole cover is tangent to uh, the edge of the merry-go-round. So there's our, our top view of the merry-go-round. It's got a mass big M and a radius big R. And I'll put the manhole cover such that its edge is tangent to that. It's got a mass little m and a radius little r. And we want to find the moment of inertia about the center of the merry-go-round. So what's the moment of inertia of our system? Okay. Well, uh, we got two parts. We have the merry-go-round. That's really simple. It's a solid disk. So the moment of inertia of the merry-go-round is 1 half m big R squared. So no problems there. For the manhole cover, um, we are not on its center. So we have to use the parallel axis theorem. So the moment of inertia uh, for the, the manhole cover, I'll call that mh, is equal to the moment of inertia about its center of mass plus its mass times the distance from uh, our pivot point to its center of mass squared. Okay. Um, so for ICM, well, that's really simple. That's one half little m r little r squared. Okay, plus little m. Ah, what's DCM? Well, DCM is this distance here. Okay. So how far is the center of mass from the manhole cover to the center of our system or to our pivot point that we're studying? Yeah, it's really simple. It's the big radius minus the little radius. So this would be big R minus little r, and i got to square that. So for parallel axis theorem, again, we use that whenever um, something is not pivoting about its center. Okay? So the total moment of inertia of your system is, you just add those two up. So the total moment of inertia is uh, 1 half big M big R squared plus 1 half little m little r squared plus little m times big R minus little r squared. Okay? Uh, that's it. So that's example one. Uh, the next one will be a little more involved.